Hello, in this lesson we learn narrow band internet of things NB-IoT wireless cellular communication technology for internet of things. Internet of things is all about interconnected cars, lamps, fridges, smart cities, home automation, industry etc. But, but when we want to connect small things over long periods in hard to reach places then what is the solution for this problem? We learned in the previous session, LoRa is a promising solution for this. But there are other important alternatives for this particular problem. So here to overcome battery, uh, you know, uh, suppose we want to overcome the uh, you know power consumption, and also we want to reach long uh, ranges and hard to reach the places that is the remote places uh, NB-IoT uh, that is narrow band internet of things a wireless technology can be a promising solution for this it is an alternative to LoRa and Sigfox technologies what is NB-IoT narrow band internet of things communication technology is a long range communication technology like LoRa it is low power wide area network LP WAN technology. Narrow band IoT technology operates in license spectrum. What is license spectrum? License spectrum means we have to pay for using NB IoT network. LoLa operates in unlicensed spectrum or we can say free spectrum. No need to pay for LoRa technology. We discussed about it in the previous session. But NB IoT we have to pay for the spectrum because NB IoT uses existing cellular networks so uh, here i'll be uh, explaining you what are the benefits of nb iot why we need to use nb iot why in the world most of the companies are now using a narrow band internet of things technology because nb iot supports more than 100 kilo connections per cell so what is a cell we know in cellular uh, networks, we discussed about it. A cell is a geographic area that is covered by a single base station in a cellular network. Means a base station can cover a geographical area. Okay, in that particular area, your NB IoT supports the connections more than 100 kilo, or we can say 1 lakh connections per cell. NB IoT was designed to offer 20 decibels coverage. It offers deep penetration means it can reach indoor places and also it can reach underground places like mines or if you want to go to some tunnel connectivity yes NB IoT can be a promising solution for this we can easily deploy NB IoT into existing cellular networks okay that is uh, easy and simple deployment it is possible and also NB IoT Components are available at low cost. NB IoT devices will have a battery life of more than 10 years. Now we will learn how NB IoT works. The strength of NB IoT remains in the fact that it can work virtually anywhere in the world. Not only that, but it's proven to be a simple, efficient way of connecting devices on already established cellular networks. There is no interference with other devices. So NB IoT guarantees a more reliable data transfer. So in Wi-Fi, you know, other uh, uh, technologies, we see interference, but in NB IoT, we don't see that. IoT devices can send data to cloud. Uh, you can send to any cloud using NB IoT connectivity. Here the advantage is there is no need of IoT gateways when you want to connect NB IoT devices to the cloud you can directly connect by using NB IoT connectivity. IoT devices connect to the NB IoT network in the same way as mobile devices connected to the LTE or 4G network. NB IoT can be deployed in three different operating modes. So what are they? So, uh, DROL, remember? So, uh, generally, NB IoT can be deployed 
in in band can mode guard band mode stand alone mode these are the three modes so what is in band mode generally in band mode can use the resource block within lte frequency band whereas guard band can use a free resource block within lte guard band guard band is a thin band of spectrum between radio bands that is used to prevent interference and finally third mode that is actually stand alone band uh, can use gsm frequencies in a bandwidth of 200 kilohertz now what are the nb iot applications where we can use any iot device that requires low energy consumption and requires low data transfer and you know if you want to connect remotely from some remote area then uh, those devices can benefit from nb iot connectivity so there are different types of applications are available so we'll be discussing about them like you can actually uh, use for metering applications smart city applications uh, you can use it for some you know monitoring applications okay there are uh, different types of applications we have okay so i'll be showing you some examples of nb iot products already being uh, used in the industry so here you will see temperature data logger so temperature data logger uh, generally logs temperature data uh, this particular device uses nb iot connectivity and also you see another uh, device this is actually iot sensor node this iot sensor node uh, can be used in order to connect any sensor to uh, you know uh, to utilize nb iot connectivity to send data to the cloud or iot platform and you will see another you know example here uh, using nb iot connectivity that is a door sensor okay so and a lot of research is being done in this nb iot domain and there are many big telecommunications giants like hawaii ericsson qualcomm jte mediatek and Vodafone have been actively working in this particular NB IoT standard. Okay, so I hope uh, you were able to understand uh, more about NB IoT, right? So this is uh, you know one of the uh, long-range wireless communication technology. Okay, so thank you all. Thank you for your support.